Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. Hear those birds chirping. 10 in the morning. Um, had to go inside and get the flat screwdriver, the long one. Um, I'm gonna do a headlight replacement on the Maxima today. So uh, check it out. So main reason why we're changing the headlights. As you can see, one has this uh, this rim of water on the bottom, and the other one is good. But we're gonna change them. We bought some black lights. We're gonna change them. All black is only nice. I guess I'll go through it step by step real quick. This plastic cover was right here. You just take out the clips, right? And then obviously this little pops out after you take out the clips and then there's a screw on each corner all right and then the lights have screws connected to the frame so the bumper first then take out the lights all right so clips is off i want to show you real quick roughly how it's going to look it's literally going to just drop on the floor or it could pull it down and boom now your fog lamps are connected to it so we want to make sure those wires in the bottom are good and then i'll fix whatever you got to fix i'll change the lights in a second all right and then check out obviously the screws like i said there's one back here holding it this one and then uh we replace them that's how you find out we have uh damage See, it's just loose we got a screw for that and so on and so forth but i mean i don't think it got hit bad i think this top part got hit i don't think the frame ever got damaged I think this is definitely the top of the car got hit. But this is what it is. So, one screw here, one screw on the top, and then one screw on the bottom. Of each light, three screws on each side. It's gotta be the original one from the factory. Look at this shit. <laughs> Never been removed, first time probably. So this is a H7. Obviously, uh, 2010 Maxima got a uh, HIDs. All right. So what you do is you just the HID connection. That's it. You just put on um, black on black and then blue on red, and you connect it to your new lights. All right. And I already did it. I don't even know the. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Why are you? Why? Why? Why are you so lazy? You couldn't do this yourself. Now I want to see what you have. What you could do. Come on. for y'all talking um what you do is basically now we're just testing the light make sure we got power look power see it all right power so at this point now the only thing we're doing is 
And that's the new bowl. Right way. Alright, see so you can go on, so that's the wrong way. Flip it. Boom. Done. Low beams, high beams on. Low beams, high beams on. They're working now. It's time to put it back together, put the lights on. Man, so, you know, bought, them, bought these on eBay, I told y'all. Look, clean, clean fucking lights. Everything on eBay, I always buy shine. So, new and old. It's a big difference on a car. It's going to look. Real good. Put it back in the socket. In like, like an hour, you know, hands dirty and stuff, you know what it is. Hey, all right. Show you the car in a second. Um, not an easy job, just like a sensitive job, so I want to take your time or something like that. But it looks real nice though. Definitely changed up the whole car look. Looks good though. 